today I thought it would be fun if we looked at 10 unusual, weird, quirky, odd, strange things that Americans do in relation to eating. This is one of those lists that often gets people who are really offended by it and to them I have to just say, maybe 2020 is the year you go and get a hobby. The reason I've decided to do this list is because the Denny's IHOP video evoked such a strong reaction from people about how I held my fork. I'll get into that more in a second. And it started me off thinking about how many different things that we do in relation to eating overall. Before I get into the list, do be sure to subscribe, otherwise the next time you go to eat food, it's going to taste of nothing. And then the next time you go to eat food, it's going to taste of nothing. And soon you'll realise all your taste buds are just gone. And that's all because you didn't subscribe. Okay, coming in at number 10, let's just get this one out of the way. We hold our cutlery differently. And I covered this one in a video before, but obviously it didn't register with a couple of people, so I'm just gonna repeat it. In Europe, it's good manners to hold your fork in one hand, the left hand, and your knife in the right hand. And you hold your fork with the scoopy bit facing down, and you cut like this, and then you bring it up to your mouth like this. Now, in America, it seems to me that efficiency is key, and I'm not saying that's wrong, it's just not considered good etiquette in Europe, but you're not in Europe, so I guess it's okay. In America, they will cut it the same way, but then they'll put down their knife and they'll bring their fork over and they'll transfer it over and they'll flip their fork and they'll scoop it up. It's like a whole scooping thing. And indeed, this is the most effective method at getting stuff onto your fork. But in Ireland and the rest of Europe, it's considered pretty bad manners. Obviously, if you're American and you're doing it, it's not a problem. We just have different things. But that's why I held my fork like that. I was just applying good European manners, but obviously it didn't matter there. The next unusual thing that Americans do is in a lot of places you guys have all-you-can-eat buffets. Now we do have all-you-can-eat buffets here, but there seems to be a lot more of them over in the US. And you guys take the all-you-can-eat buffet pretty seriously. I imagine the majority of people just do it, like go up and get themselves a second plate or extra helpings of stuff. But I have heard of people who bring their own plates and they go up 10 times and they spend the whole day in the all-you-can-eat buffet. I've also heard that some restaurants have brought in rules that mean you can't do this and that. Then it's not really all-you-can-eat, is it? We asked for more fish and they refused to give us any more fish. So if you're saying it's all you can eat, it really should be all you can eat. But some people, I guess, see that all you can eat thing and take it as a challenge. Believe me, I love a good food challenge myself, but probably going up for seconds is about my limit. The next unusual thing I've noticed Americans do with their food is to do with flavoring. Now, we all love a bit of flavor wherever, but Americans love flavors. When it comes to good cooking, not only will you guys marinate something and let it sit overnight and get all the lovely flavors and textures in, but you'll also have syrups and sauces on the side. Whenever I'm gonna go eat something in America, I am overwhelmed with people telling me exactly how I have to have it. And don't stop doing that because it's really helpful, but I do find it interesting that there's no shortage of how much different flavors you like. In contrast, I've got to say, some of the more generic mainstream products, like chocolate, have less of a taste. Oh, you did not just go there. I'm not saying all chocolate, just like the mainstream stuff. Like Snickers and Musketeers, the chocolate just tastes less impactful. Make it fat! But when it comes to meat, you guys are all about it. And also when it comes to waffles and pancakes, oh my god, how many syrups are available? I have now learned they were called syrups and not sauces. Thanks, internet! The next one kind of follows on from that, but I think it merits its own point. It's how much salt and sugar are in foods in America. Now, I'm not ragging on you or anything, but there's definitely a lot more salt and sugar in your food over there. I probably would have put a pinch of salt in it. Especially when it comes to carbohydrates. Things like breads and pastas already have them added into them when you buy them. Now, I heard a funny thing about salt once, which was that if you never had salt, everything tasted salty anyway. So there's a natural salt in food. And then that once you became used to it, you needed more and more salt introduced to your food. And I've noticed also that sometimes when there's already salt in a product, Americans will add more salt to it. Like for example, French fries. In McDonald's, they already have salt in them and then Americans will add more salt on top. I guess that's just like a force of habit thing. But in Europe, salt is more just kind of an extra little thing on top that you might add at the end. We do add salt into our cooking as well, but then usually you won't add more salt after the fact. The next thing I've noticed about America is that you like to always have food on hand. And that's where food carts come in. There are literally food carts everywhere, on every corner and every street that you go to. I imagine this is more prevalent in the cities, but we do not have that abundance here, even in Dublin. I've noticed that when I am over in America, 
I found myself eating more because it's just right there. So I'll see a food cart that's got like churros in it or something and I'll be like, hmm, I do fancy a churro. Don't you always. And I've just had lunch or something and I'll just go and get myself a churro or a hot dog or whatever it is that I see because the suggestion of it makes me want to eat it. You also have stores that have cafes within them. So even if you're going shopping for clothes, there's food readily available to you. This is both a good thing because I love to eat and a bad thing because I love to eat too much. Oh, they know. In Ireland, we definitely have food carts. But it is not infinite. Actually, now that I come to think of it, that's a whole business in itself, the cart, isn't it? The next thing I noticed is that you guys drink soda or fizzy drinks as we call them with every meal. Now to me, having a Diet Coke with breakfast is kind of a special occasion, something you would do in a hotel. But in America, that option is available all the time. When it comes to eating dinner here, for example, most people will either have water or wine or something with their meal. Whereas Americans are just, let's go soda. And you guys have those bottomless sodas that refill all the time. I do like those because I do like my fizzy drinks. But even the last time I was in Florida, it got to a point where I was like, oh, I don't want any more fizzy drinks because I just had so many. I will grant you, maybe for me, it's the novelty of having it on the menu. And if you actually live there and work there, you aren't necessarily drinking soda all the time. Let me know in the comments if that's a thing. But I do kind of miss the automatic jug of water that's on the table in European restaurants. You have to kind of ask for water in America. And then you have to pay for it as well. But then you guys don't have to pay for the extra drinks. So pluses and minuses. The next one, you knew I was gonna get to this, it's your portion sizes. In America, the portion sizes are crazy. I've noticed in a lot of places, you'll have the three meal size options, but then you'll just skip small. So the small, regular, and large, and it just is regular and large. Or they'll say that the small is just reserved for the kids. So even if you're not that hungry, you still have to get a regular, and then, because they're just kind of inclined to eat it. I'm sick of printing a children's menu. One of the nights in Florida, I went to get a meal and I had one of those early bird specials. So a starter, a main course and a dessert. And when the starter came, it was like a full size dinner portion. So that by the time the dinner came, I was already full up and I couldn't eat it. They actually took it away. They were like, do you want us to give this to you in a doggy bag? Which is another whole thing that they do in America. I'm not a dog, but actually it's very handy because then you just don't have to cook the next day. But I almost felt like I was going to insult the chef because I didn't eat any of the mains because I was so full from the starter. Maybe you're not supposed to eat the full starter or something. I think I've mentioned this before, but often I've had my meal and then I've not finished it because I'm full up and then the waiter will come over and be like, was there something wrong with it? And then I feel like I've done something bad because I haven't eaten the whole meal. But honestly, the portion size is just crazy. So, I mean, sorry. The next strange thing that I've noticed in America is that fresh food is so much more expensive than processed food, which really doesn't make any sense. I've definitely heard this from you guys in the comments about how people are inclined to eat fast food because it's cheaper. And that is definitely the case. Like you can get a full meal for $10, no problem, but it's really, really, really unhealthy for you. Now in contrast, I would have thought something that grows out of the ground or walks around a farm. Bark, bark, I'm a chicken. That shouldn't cost so much because there aren't so many steps that go from it being there to it being on your plate. But a lot of times in America, they'll slap a label on it that says like organic and charge three times the price for it. And that makes me totally understand why it is so hard to eat healthily in America. Everything is too expensive. I would think that because there are so many steps involved in making a McDonald's chicken nugget, it would be way more expensive than a big box of vegetables, but no. Maybe there is a logical explanation for all this. Let me know below in the comments. And the number one unusual thing that I've noticed Americans do in relation to food, which is totally different to how Europeans do it, is that Americans eat super fast. Now I'm not gonna present you with this idealized, romanticized version of Europeans all sitting around the dinner table and eating together for hours. It does happen, and I'm sure it happens in some parts of America too, but it's just not the norm. Most of us all just sit around and watch TV and eat dinner. But I have noticed that Americans will have their whole dinner eaten in 10 minutes, whereas it'll usually take somebody from Ireland or elsewhere in Europe at least 20 minutes, half an hour. In a similar way, I've noticed that they bring your courses really, really fast in America. So I'll finish my starter and I'll take it away and then my main course will be there before I've even had a sip of my drink. Now I get that that's efficient service in some ways, but also it speaks a lot about the way in which food is eaten. We definitely stew over our food more. Oh, the pun, stew. 
Irish view. I don't get it. A couple of times I've eaten out with friends who are American and I definitely find myself being the last one in the pack to finish my meal. I am a slow eater by nature, but I'm way behind the Americans. I don't wonder if this to do with the fast pace of society over there or what. I am curious as to the why of it. Anyway, those are just a couple of little observations from me. Let me know below in the comments your thoughts. And that's it. Have a great weekend. I'll see you on the other side. Bye. Oh, wonderful. The sunlight is coming down. So half of me is lit and half of me isn't lit. Oh, now we have the birds coming in. Wonderful. Lighting in Spain is just my Ecclesia. I actually want to throw the camera through the window. I'm not going to because I need the camera. We don't have all our stuff. That was right in the middle.